Hi, and welcome to the Director Demo. There's a few ways you can start a show in Director. You can open one. You can open one that you've saved before. A recent show, import one from a boo box or from your Scare Masters SD card. Today we're gonna to start a new one. We'll create a show for Flex Max. We'll say that Flex Max has eight outputs and we'll name it Demo 3. So it's going to create the grid for us. There it is. So this row of the grid is the audio row. You can see the audio waveform here. The row beneath that is the timeline. You can see the time in seconds. And the eight rows below that are the eight outputs of the boot box. So the first thing we normally do when we start a scene is we load a sound. So let's do that. So we're going to bring in a standard sound and it's asking us if we'd like to make the scene length equal to the length of the sound, which is usually what we want to do. So we'll follow along. This sound is actually a bit long. You can see it's in the range of like 50 seconds. So we're going to shorten it using director's built-in sound editor. So I'm just going to grab the first 10 seconds and crop that. And then put a fade on the end so we don't get any clicks and pops. And then I'll save that. And then close that out. So now if we scroll back to the beginning here, you can see that we've got our sound waveform and it's about 10 seconds long. I'm going to reset the length of the scene by right clicking and clicking end scene here. That little red marker is the end of scene marker. So the boo box will only play up until this red marker and then it will stop. So we could hit play now and all you'll hear is the sound. Wouldn't be a very interesting scene. So now let's add some animation. So there's a few ways to do that. You can just click and drag. If you start your click on a enabled part of the output, it will start turning it off. If you start it on a disabled part, it will start turning it on. So when it's blue, that's enabled. That output will be on. So if we were to draw like this, output 1 would be on for one second, output 2 would be on for a second, output 3 would be on for two seconds, and so on, vice versa. You can also turn edit mode off, and then you can start selecting. Oh, missed that there. So you can then right click and just turn off whole areas, or you can do uh, copy paste. So we could draw a bunch, turn off edit mode, copy that, and paste that down here. The other stuff you can do is insert and delete. So let me just clear this out and create a little demo area here. I'll turn that on turn these on. Now if I inserted, let me delete actually, I'll delete in here and you'll see those come closer together. I could also insert, I'll just insert in these three and I can specify a length, four seconds. So you'll see I've inserted four seconds of animation there. So there's various ways that you can manipulate the animation. There's also real-time recording. So you can hit the record button here and you can see the record button is now blinking. We are now in real-time record mode. If I hit the space bar that will start the recording and then I can use the 1 through 8 keys to turn on the outputs. So I'm going to do that now. Oh, let me start back at the beginning first. So you'll hear the sound play. And now I'm tapping the 
output but or the one through eight keys as the sound is playing. So you could zoom in and out. What's neat is you can go in and uh, let me turn on this. You could go in and, and clean this up if you wanted. Just change it a bit. And you get the idea. So let's make a simple scene that we will play back on the boo box to kind of complete the whole picture here. So I'm just going to make a basic staircase. I just have outputs. One through eight, turn on. Let's set our end of scene marker back there since we screwed up before. And there we go. We have a basic scene that when played, output one will turn on. Two. Oh. <laughs> Let me go back. Let me turn off recording mode. I screwed that up. Let me undo. There's an example of the undo. I just hit control Z to undo. All right. So we're going to play that back. I had the record mode enabled. So hit play. You'll hear the sound start. Up at one will turn on, two will turn on, three, four, etc. That's what we should see on our boo box. So before we export that, let's just add an ambient sound. This is our scene selector here. It's where you get to select any of the scenes. So we're going to select our ambient scene. And we're just going to add a, th a uh, basic thunder sound. And yes, we'll make the scene length the length of the sound. There we go. So once we export this and insert it into our boo box, once the boo box starts up, we'll have a thunder sound that will just loop and repeat. And then when we trigger the boo box, it will play that sound we have in input one and you should see the lights go one through eight. So when it, export, when it exports, it uh, copies any firmware that the BooBox needs, converts any sounds that need to be converted to MP3, copies all the animation files that it needs. And then it gives you some instructions. Eject the SD card from your computer. All right. Okay, so we'll insert it into the BooBox. You should hear the animation or the uh, ambient sound start. There it is. And now if I trigger the boo box. And you see the outputs. Fly one through eight. And now we'll go back to the ambient sound. <laughs> 